Hey guys, welcome to Part Tutorials. So guys, today I create one more time slice looping animation part two. So guys, same as the last one tutorial, I take plane, but guys, this time breadth size I increase like eight thousand and height six hundred centimeter, right? And now I take spare and I increase segments. Spare segments take hundred. And attach on this flow. So position and Y position, I take hundred centimeter, right? Okay. Now, guys, same. I take this time cube and cube size. Last one, I take ten. And now I take cloner. This one. Select this cube and make channel with cloner. Yeah. Guys, select cloner. And go to mode grid array. Yes, guys, count. I take one and one, and third count I take ten. Yes, right. Okay, guys, select this cloner. Go to back and up. Yes, and now again, guys, same draw any fracture tool. So select this pair and make child with draw any fracture. Yes, guys. Select this draw any fracture, and I go to source and point generate distribution. Press delete key, delete, and select this cloner. Drag and drop in source. Yes, right. It's so easy, guys. Yes, and now, guys, one more time. I take cloner. This time, cloner, and guys, select this. Draw any fracture tool and make child with cloner one. Yeah, guys, select cloner one and same mode and use grid array and count one and one and first count increase like I take five. Yes, guys, size increase like size like five thousand. Yes, five thousand is good, right? Okay, so guys, my first shape is complete. I create second. So, guys, I create this time torus this one, and guys, you can hide this lona. Yeah, guys, select this torus and orientation change like this. Yes, and also change some size. So. Go to here and ring size little bit increase like two twenty, yeah, and ring segments increase like hundred. Hundred is good, guys. Pipe radius decrease. I take like fifteen, yeah, and increase pipe segments. Pipe segments I take like thirty two, yeah, thirty two is better. Okay, so guys, select this torus. And go on here, guys. Position Z position. I take minus two hundred. Yeah, and copy the shape. Press Control C and V. Go on here, and same Z. I take two hundred. Yeah, right. Okay. So guys, now copy the torus. Press Control C and V. Go on here, guys. Select the torus two and position position. All position take zero and decrease this pipe radius. Pipe radius I take zero point five. Yeah, right, guys. That's my like blades. Simple. Okay. So guys, now again I take cloner. So I go to mo graph and use cloner and select this torus dot two and make child with cloner two. Yeah, guys. Go to same mode. And use grid array. Yes, and count one and one, guys. This time I go to right view panel, and I increase more counts. I take like ninety. See, guys, that's my center, right? Guys, count. I take ninety. That's important. Right. Okay. 
guys again this time i take cylinder and change orientation yes increase size like this yeah size is good and change radius radius i take 0 or actually 2.5 yes and go to right front view panel go on here like this yeah and copy this cube actually cylinder go to here yeah right see guys that's my shape shape is complete so guys now i take null object and select all shapes only this one and make child with null yeah right see guys that's my shape actually guys if center pivot is not correct you can change so go to null object and go to mesh axis center axis center click and point center check including children and use all object and press this execute yeah right okay so guys select this null object and go to chord and guys i create animation like this rotation animation and rotation path is r dot b yes right okay so guys attach on flow and up like this two three five yeah right okay and guys now last one i take q and go to here guys change cube size select and y size i take 100 and last one i take 50 and again size first one i take 8000 yes and copy this cube press ctrl c and v go on here yes and go to right view panel yes right see guys guys my shape is complete right yeah and actually i also take flow and little bit down yes okay guys my shape is complete and now i create animation so select this null object and go to back like this little bit closer guys position select this null object and position x position take minus 3000 yes and press this animation key actually i also increase frame like 5000 actually 500 frame i take 500 and null object position x position minus 3000 centimeter and press this animation key yes and i go to 500 frames and position same 3000 and check yeah right go to back and play see guys that's my first animation guys change curve setting so select this null object and go to first keyframe and change like liner yes and last one go to 500 frame and take liner yes okay so guys path animation is finished now i create rotation animation so select this null object and i go to chord and all is good so check and go to last frame and r dot b rotation i take 1800 and check right so go to here like this and play see guys right yeah great nice guys same so select this null object and zero keyframe select zero keyframe and take liner last keyframe 
and use line off yes increase size go to back and play yeah great okay so guys see my first animation is finished now i create second so i take blades i take blades so take plane and change orientation like this and wrap size i take only 20 yes guys again i take cloner so select this plane and mix add with cloner guys select cloner and mode create array and one and one and third count i take 10 yeah and select this cloner and up like this yes right guys so go to back select this cloner go on here and up like this guys position like this go on here yeah right guys select this cloner too that's my blades and position go on here and go to zero frame and press this animation key guys go to last keyframe last one and position same change so much closer and press this animation key right so guys same go to zero frame I go to zero frame select this cloner to blades and take same liner liner and go to last one select and use liner yeah go to back and play yeah great right guys that's really cool okay so stop guys animation is finished now i apply only tags so select this plane this one and right click on plane simulation tag and use collider body yeah and i go to collision and bounce i take zero and frequency actually friction i take 200 centimeter sorry percentage 200 percentage and go to guys here brownie fracture tool brownie fracture and rigid body tag guys bounce take zero and friction zero and dynamic trigger use on collision yes that's it and guys go on here blades guys select this plane one that's my blades and right click simulation tag and use collider body yeah and i go to collision and all position actually bounce and friction use zero zero and zero yeah and guys also apply collider tag on this cube side cubes yeah go to back and play yeah nice see guys right it's really good okay so guys also change some tag setting right select this body fracture and change also friction like friction i take like 50 so go to back and play yeah that's nice see guys right great okay guys you can hide this cloner too so hide and hide on render yes and last one i take camera and camera check and camera position like this like this closer and select this camera and camera check 
and guys go to last keyframe and camera angle like this and press this animation key right so go to back and play yeah great see guys that's my final animation guys you can also change camera keyframe select this camera and select keyframe use liner and last one same liner yes so go to back and play yeah great guys go on here and select this camera and check yes great see guys that's my final animation nice okay so guys my animation is finished now i apply material same as last one tutorial load material and go to here that's my material yes guys you can download this material and project file from my website it's free and go to here cylinder is white yes and also apply sky and that's my sky material and also apply compositing tag seen by camera uncheck and use gold material on brownie fracture tool brownie fracture yes right and i go to render setting guys also apply flow collider tag and use material and render preview yeah great okay so guys actually also apply light so i take area light and up and rotate minus 90 degree and position i increase like this right okay intensity i take 70 percent 70 75 is depend on your work like for lighting go to render setting ambi occlusion 256 accuracy i take 100 percent and global illumination indirectly catch a i take low and anti select geometry that's it save and use mp4 and create new folder that's my folder and take any file name output use all frame and close and render right actually go to camera and render yes okay so guys my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file and material from my website is free thank you